particular day, but I'm glad that you're here. I'm glad to be here. Most of all, I'm glad Jesus is here. How many of you glad if two or three of us are gathered together in his name? There he is in the midst of us. Amen. I want about three of you just real quickly to tell me what you are believing God for in the coming year. Maybe good health or uh, financial blessing or family to be saved. Amen. Let's agree with healing of the eyes. Amen. He's had a lot of... Uh, That's good. I'll be in agreement with Brother Pete that God's going to heal his eyes. He brought you back from the dead that one time. I know he can heal your eyes. Eight years ago. I remember that. Uh, man, we, our church went to praying, and the doctors at John Peter Smith said he was dead for, it was about anywhere from five to eight minutes. It flatlined. And I said, well, what happened? They said, I don't know. It just started beeping again. He came back alive. I said, that's what I thought. <laughs> God was uh, on, the, on the scene for Pete in that, in that time. I'm glad that God is a very present help in the time of trouble. Hey, who else? Just real quickly, just call it out. To save your son. Amen. I believe that. It's going to be a year of change. That boy better. You can run, but you can't hide. Isn't that right, Cheryl? He, God's going to get a hold of him. Someone else. Hey, getting out of debt. Amen. That's a wonderful extension of your faith. Amen. God's excited about that. How many else would like to get, be debt free this year? I'm going to jump in on that request. Amen. Anybody else? What? Yes. To get a job in Arlington so you don't have to drive so far. Amen. How many of you be in agreement with Margaret about that? Praise the Lord. Someone else, what you believe in God for this year? Any? Say what? Family members to be saved. Has anybody got any family members need Jesus tonight? Yeah, we we'll believe for that. We're going to decree and declare here in a little bit some things about this. I. I believe how we start the first is how the rest of the year is going to go, and we're going to believe God for good things. Amen. Hallelujah. Who else? Anybody else? One, one more, two more? Just something you're believing God for. This coming year. Go ahead, Nancy. For what? Yes. Amen. And by the way, Pete and Nancy had an anniversary Sunday. 33 years? 36 years. Yeah. Congratulations. Believe for that. Yes, Sister Noah. Amen. Wow, I felt that. I'm in agreement with that. Come on, somebody, give the Lord a praise tonight for that. Amen. You know what? I know we get rowdy sometimes, but I just think right now we ought to stop right there. And, and all the things we're believing God for, we ought to just begin to thank him for it right now in advance. What do you say? Come on, just clap your hands and shout hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. I love you tonight. Come on, somebody, lift your voice tonight and just... Yield yourself to the Lord right now and say, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory to God. Father, we just lift our voice tonight. and We're so grateful for your presence. God, we're thankful for what you're not just have done and not what you're doing, but what you're going to do in advance. We believe you tonight, God, for great and mighty things in our life. We bless you, Jesus. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah to God. I want you to stand to your feet right now. And I, um, I told the worship team we're going to have a, we have a bunch of songs ready, but we might just do one. We might do five. Who knows? But uh, would you just turn to about four people right now and tell somebody God loves you? He really, really does. Would you tell that to about four or five people? God loves you.
Hey, let's do that with All I Am starting out. Just that one song and then I'll pick it up. Hallelujah. We're going to just worship the Lord with just one song starting out. We might sing some pastor songs at the end. But I want us to, uh, this song says, With All That I Am. And I want us just to start out tonight just with a worship song, With All That I Am. Would you just lift your hands right now and just say, God, here I am tonight. I yield myself to you. I give myself to you with all that I am. Y'all go right ahead. We worship you, God. Into your hands I commit again With all I am For you, my Lord You hold my world In the palm of your hands And I am yours forever
now just to lift your voice and give voice to thanksgiving, give voice to praise, give voice to the love that's in your heart for the Lord your God tonight. Take about a minute, will you? Just a minute. Just go ahead and bless him. Bless him and honor him. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, sing. We magnify you. 
Somebody's hungry for we worship you, Lord. God tonight. Something's leaping up in somebody tonight, taking hold of something miraculous. Glory to God. Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. My Jesus, my Savior, shout to the Lord. Glory to God. Glory. Glory. Thank you, Lord. My Jesus, my Savior, Lord, there is none.
pray over us. We had to do that tonight. Glory to God. Join hands with somebody next to you and let's just be in agreement right now as we go before God in prayer and believe him for great things in our life. Hallelujah. Come on up, Sister Doris. We love you, darling. Praise it be unto the name of Jesus. Father God, we just exalt your presence. Lord, we thank you for your presence and for your movement. God, that you're doing in the midst of us right now. Father, we thank you for right now, God. We thank you for being a supernatural God, a God of all mercy and a God of all strength and a God of all power and a God of all refuge, oh God. We thank you right now, Jesus, for your precious blood. We give thanks unto you because, Lord, you're so worthy. God, for this moment right now, Lord, that you have allowed us to come together one more time, Lord, another year, another season, another time, God, that you have brought us into the presence of of your Holy Spirit. Lord, we thank you, dear God, because we know that it was not because we were so good, neither were we so righteous or so holy, but your mercy is everlasting. God, I thank you for your mercy that endure to all generations. I thank you for being a right now God. I thank you for being a God that is moving in the midst of his people all over the world. You're showing and revealing who you are, God. And Father, I love you, Lord. We here at Life Fellowship, we come to magnify you. We come to exalt you. We come to give you praise. We come to give you thanks, Lord, for blessing our homes and blessing our children and blessing our loved ones. Lord, we look forward to the move of you this year, Lord, for how you're going to do a supernatural thing, Lord, not in our, in our lives and in our homes, Lord, with our children, even on the job, even with everybody and anybody, Lord, that would be connected to us, Lord. We believe you, Father, for greater things. Lord, we're no longer, God, going to be wrapped up in our flesh and in our emotion, God, but we're going to walk in the power and the authority, God, that you have invested 
within us, God. And I give you praise right now. I give you glory right now. I give you honor right now, Lord. It's not about us. It's not about me. But it's all about you, Jesus. What you've done for us, God, on Calvary, Lord. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, I lift our children. Lord, I lift this generation. I lift them up, God, into the presence of a holy God, into the power of a holy God. Lord, I know you're going to do a supernatural thing. Lord, we're claiming, God. We're taking out the mountain, God. We're going to take back, God, everything that the enemy, Lord, has stolen from us, God. I believe you, God, to be a God of respiration. Oh, God, you're going to be able to restore and give back to us. Lord, I claim it. Lord, I stand in agreement with Life Fellowship. I stand in agreement with Pastor and First Lady. I stand in agreement with your word that you, God, is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all, God, that we are able to think, God, you're going to do it, Lord. We're taking back our children. We're taking them back, God. Lord, we're standing in the gap. We're going to stand and we're going to endure until the end, Lord. In Jesus' name, continue to bless us all. Knit us. God, bind us in the spirit of love and unity. Bless our pastor. We lift him up. Sister Beverly up. We lift Life Fellowship up. I just see you doing great things in Life Fellowship this is the year, Lord. This is the year, Lord. This is the year, Lord. We claim it for your glory. We're not going to bow down. We're not going to compromise. But we're going to stand, Lord. We're not going to be wimp about it. We're not going to be weak in faith. But God, we're going to be strong and endure, God. And we're going to see the salvation of you, our Lord and Savior. We lift our pastor up. We lift him, God. Everything that concerns him, everything that concerns Sister Beverly, we lift him up, God. We lift this ministry up. We're going to hold his hands up in Jesus' name. We're going to see him over in Jesus' name. We're going to see signs and wonders in a great and a move and an awesome way, God, in Jesus' name. He's going to preach like never before. He's going to cry out like never before, Lord. We're going to see it and we're going to hear it and we're going to walk in it in the spirit of obedience. And Lord, I love you tonight. I give you glory in Jesus' name. Church, God is on the move. God is on the move. God let me know last night that, Pastor, this is the year. This is the year. God said this is a year. A year of restoration. Everything, anything, and whatever that has been taken from us, God said he's going to restore it. And you know what? I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. I'm crazy enough to believe it. I'm doing an act. I'm walking by faith and not by sight. I promise the Lord that I will do. I will do. I said, Lord, you spare me. Year 2014, I will do what you have called me to do. I will do it. You see my husband over there? This is just a little testimony, if you allow me. I praise God for my husband. This is the first day of 2014. And to some of you ladies that has been battling with your husband to come to church and be saved and all of that. Well, let me tell you one thing about Sister Doris. I walked in the wilderness with her for 40 years. He and I have been married 43 years. Let me tell you, we have two children. I raised my daughters when my husband was, wasn't where he should have been. I brought them here to the altar when they were tiny. I fasted and I prayed. God told me that the sanctified wife was sanctified the husband. God gave me a promise. He told it to me. And every time I would quote that scripture, it seemed like the circumstances got worse. But I stayed there. I'm giving God the glory. I stayed there on my knees. On my knees, I consecrated. I gave my two daughters to the Lord when they were tiny. 
And I said, Lord, I'm giving them to you. And now we got the three grandchildren. And now I'm believing God for them. So more on my knees, it just shifts me into a different gear in prayer. Because that's where I'm going. Because the hour that we're living in now. But my husband back there, he is a miracle to be here at Life Fellowship. He is a miracle. When Brother Mark baptized him back here, he chose the place where he wanted to be baptized. Right back there. Under pastor. He said, Doris, I love that church. And that's where I want to be. And I submitted myself because I was going somewhere else. I never stopped going to church. When I didn't know where he was at, I never stopped going. First day in, in the new year, sometimes I didn't know. But I was at church. I was giving of myself. I was doing, I was hurting, and I was crying. But it came a time when I began to get stronger and stronger in the Lord. And now my husband, back there, is with me. And we love it. So I tell the women, I have a testimony, that if you endure, don't get weak or wavering. Stand on the word of God and trust him. Them daughters, 42 and 41, grandchildren 16, 13, and the little one is six. He's a miracle. That's a challenge for me because the devil will not have them. Yeah. He will not have them. He will not, and I will not allow it. But the testimony is my husband. When you see me praising God and seeing that man sit beside me, Hey, I can't praise him enough. Oh, I can't praise him enough because he is a work of God. He is the mighty hand, work of God. I love Life Fellowship. I just appreciate Pastor so much. I tell you, if you can catch my husband's attention, because he was strong in what he believed, I'm telling you, but he caught his attention when we came here and I said, this is the place. God is good. I want to encourage you to be strong, very courageous. Endure hardness as a good soldier. We all are on the firing line. Soldiers, some of us been wounded, tried, broken, bruises. They come with the package. But you know what? It's time for us to take our mountain and stand on it. God promised us a mountain. I want to go and possess the land. Because it's a good land. The giants can't conquer me. I can conquer the giants. God bless you. Oh, come on, somebody. Shout hallelujah. Brother Doug, wave your hand at everybody. God bless you, Doug. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Turn to about three people and say, the next testimony is going to be your testimony of God's goodness. Thank you, guys. Don't go too far, though. Don't go too far. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Boy, I just feel the presence of God here tonight. I really do. If this is any indication of what the rest of the year is going to hold, I'm good to go. Hallelujah. I, I announced we're going to talk about a fresh wind because that's exactly what's going on tonight. There's a fresh wind of the Spirit. If you want to follow me, just uh, look over in Psalms 147 and verse 18 for a moment. But, you know, I just I just want to go on record tonight. I, You know, I, I, I don't think we can... We, we cannot let the record show that on this first day, this first service of a new year, that somebody over here was praising God and somebody over here was praising God, but I was just sitting there watching and observing. How many of you can say God's been too good to me? I got to praise him tonight. How many of you know God's been good to us and he kept us by his grace? And how many of you know he's going to bring us to that land that's bright and fair? Amen. How many of you know there's more in store? 
I believe we ought to praise him just because we ought to go on record tonight and say tonight is a night that I was aggressive. I took the initiative and I stepped out because there's more in store of what God is going to do for me, what God is going to do for you. I just believe that this is my year tonight. This is my year for transformation. This is my year for getting out of debt. This is our year for being healed. This is our year for our families are going to be saved. This is my year tonight. I mean, you know, just declare this is my year tonight. I'm not going to, this is my year to, tonight to receive nothing less than the best of what God has for me. This is our year tonight. Amen. This is the beginning of it for miracles that are going to happen. Amen. For jobs that are going to come available, for doors that are going to come open. This is our year tonight. How many of you believe for new opportunities? How many of you believe that God's going before you tonight? How many of you know if God doesn't go before us, like Moses said, Lord, if you don't go with me, I don't want to go another step. But God said, Moses, my glory is going to be with you. I'm going to be with you. I'm going to go before you. And I'm here to tell you, I believe God is going before. In our praise tonight, God is going to go before us and make the crooked path straight. Hallelujah. How many of you need a fresh wind of God? I believe we ought to let the record show tonight that on the first day of a new year, I'm giving this year over to God. I'm giving it to Him. Giving my kids to Him. Giving my grandkids to Him. I'm giving all the situation I have. I'm giving it to Him. I'm like Sister Doris. You know, we're still here. If I'm still here and I've got breath in me, then God's got a purpose for me. If the devil could have took me out, he would have done a long time ago, but I'm still here tonight. I've had to do some funerals this year, and our hearts went out to families, but you and I are still here tonight. How many of you know if we're still here, God's still got a purpose for us tonight? God's got a plan for us tonight. God's got something for me to do tonight. I'm going to maximize this moment. I'm going to seize this opportunity that we are coming together, and I'm going to believe him for great things. I believe tonight is a night for a fresh wind, for a new day. Psalms 147, verse 18, He sendeth out His word and melteth them. He causeth His wind to blow and the waters to flow. He's sending out His word. You know, wind is simply air in motion over the surface of the earth. That's what wind is. Look it up in the dictionary. Wind is... Air in motion over the surface of the earth. I believe that the wind of God is blowing over the surface of people's hearts tonight. I believe that there is a fresh wind of God. He's causing a fresh wind to blow over the, over the surfaces of our minds, the surfaces of our emotions. A fresh wind from God for a new day over our homes and over our circumstances. I believe God is causing a fresh wind to blow over the surfaces of our home, over the surface of this church. I believe this is going to be the greatest year we're going to ever have. Come on, I need more amens than that. This has been a good year so far. Last year was a good year. All 30 years have been good, but this coming year is going to be the best year yet. Amen. The best is still yet to come. A fresh wind of God is blowing. Just like in Genesis 1 and 2 and 3, it says that the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. The earth was void and empty and dark. But how many of you know when God's Spirit moved, and then it says, and then God said. Can I tell you, God's Spirit is moving tonight. God's Spirit is going to move in this church in a mighty way. And you're going to hear the Word of God clear in your heart. And darkness is, is going to be turned to light. Void is going to be have a purpose once again. Emptiness is going to take the place of being filled with some substance because the wind of heaven blew across the surface of our church and the surface of our hearts. He causeth the wind to blow. He sendeth forth His word. How many of you know we've got to have a word from God? We've got to have a word from God. Psalms 135 verse 7 says, He bringeth the wind out of His treasuries. In other words, whenever the wind blows, it's from out of the... God is the origin of it. 
How many of you know Jesus said, I'm going to pray the Father and he will give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. See, this wind I'm talking about is the wind of the Holy Ghost. It has its origin. It's from God. Amen. How many of you know God is on the move tonight? God is bringing a fresh wind tonight, a fresh anointing tonight. David said, I shall be anointed with fresh oil, a fresh touch tonight. How many of you are ready for it tonight? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Its origin is God. That's why I believe that when we come together, great things are going to happen like never before. God is going to, I believe that God wants us to convene in 2014. That don't just mean come together. That means come together for a purpose. Come together for an activity. Come together for a reason. And I believe that he is joining us together tonight because th this is originating in the heart of God and what he wants to do in this hour. He sends forth his word and he will cause his wind to blow. And I believe with all my heart there is a fresh wind of heaven that is blowing across the surface of people's hearts and people are never going to be the same I think every one of us say, you know what? The first day I'm going to step into this new year in faith. I'm going to step into this new year with anticipation. I'm going to step into this new year with expectation. For God is going to do great and mighty things in my life. I'm going to step into this year with a praise on my heart for what he's going to do. I'm going to step into this year with a dance in my feet tonight. I'm going to step into this year believing for great things God is going to do in my life and in my family. Look at, uh, turn over to real quickly to 2 Samuel 5 and verse 22 and 23. 2 Samuel 5 and 22. It says, The Philistines came up yet again and spread themselves in the valley of Raphim. Here we got a problem. The enemy is coming against the nation and the people of Israel. The territory, this area, had been held by the Philistines for a long time. It was a place of long-standing resistance of the enemy. And what is about to happen is this, and it's about to happen in our life. God is about and fixing to position us in a place, just like he did Israel, that would allow them to advance further than they ever have before. A place of long-standing resistance, a place of long-held territory, was about to have to give up to God's people and God was going to position Israel in a place of advancement from then on and if you read the, when we're going to read the rest of this story this is a beautiful story because after this battle right here the hammer fell down and the Philistines never again had a foothold in any territory in Israel after this particular battle how many of you are about ready for some places in your life that have been long Standing resistant places is about to give up to what God is about to do. God is about to position you and us differently than ever before. And it's going to be because of a fresh wind. And David, verse 23, inquired of the Lord and he answered, Do not go straight up. Thou shalt not go straight up, but fetch a compass behind in the King James. In other words, circle behind them and come over against the mulberry trees and let it be that when thou hearest the sound of a going in the tops of the mulberry trees, that then thou shalt bestir thyself. For then shall the Lord go out before thee and smite the host of the Philistines. And David did so, and the Lord commanded him and smote the Philistines from Gibeah even unto Gazer. Can somebody say amen? amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many are about ready to have a new position of advancement and be placed in a position that's going to take you further than you've ever been before? I want you to notice this little phrase, bestir thyself. It says, when you hear the sound of the goings of the mulberry trees, this is a, the wind of heaven. When you hear that sound, David, God told him, that is when I want you to bestir yourself. Because, first of all, if you're writing this down, just write it. This is personal. Everybody say personal. Bestir thyself. It's not even just up to me to stir you up. It's important you learn to stir yourself up. 
Don't wait for the music to get right or the preaching to be just right. Come stirred up in your heart. What I'm telling you is that God said, when you hear the sound of the going of the mulberry trees, he says, that's the time I'm moving. And can I tell you, I believe that God is moving personally in some people's lives in a mighty way tonight. There are some things that are being shifted. There are some things that are very strategic that are taking place in your life. And God is absolutely in the middle of it. God is repositioning you for his performance in your life. And this is a personal thing. 